All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna prepare our surfaces. Um, this is our, I'm gonna pretend that this is an illustration board, um, multimedia thick piece of paper. I'm gonna use it as an illustration board. Uh, again, I'm using my T-square here and I'm hooking it onto my board. This is kind of a, you can see this is a table, this is the board here. Um, in some cases you can use the table uh, and wrap the T-square around that. But right now what I'm doing is I'm running the piece of paper into um, the T-square here. So, and once it's flush and runs into it, I know that it's parallel to, and then I can hold it down. And at that point, I can tape down the edges. And I may have moved it when I did all that, so I'm gonna do it again. And I'm just taping the four corners down so it doesn't move on me. Now I know it's flush, um, parallel, and also perpendicular to my T-square. After I do that, I'm gonna measure um, the halfway distance because I wanna divide this in half uh, vertically and also wanna divide it in half horizontally. So what I'm gonna do is, um, it is 15 by 20 inches. So half of 20 is 10. And what I'm doing is putting the number 10 here and we'll go up to 20. Yeah, before I do that, I'm just going to go actually all they have to do is hit it once. And since it's on a T-square, it's going to be parallel to if I didn't have a T-square, I've done this before and I'll just make sure that you measure uh, a 10 here and a 10 here and then connect your two dots to make sure that it's vertical. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to half of 15 is seven and a half. So I'm just gonna put the five on here. Probably can't see what I'm doing. Um, so it'll be 10, 12 and a half. I'm starting off with the five, so that's why it's 12 and a half. So that's the, that's the halfway point. So I've divided it in vertically and horizontally. Um, you look at this, this is just another version, a, a different design. And you can kind of see how this is divided vertically and horizontally. Um, and you can, you can see that the, the first design is here. It's gonna be mirrored here and then mirrored again down here. So we have to make our quadrants and that's what we're doing here. So I'm gonna, measure from center out. So each quadrant is six by six inches. So what I'm gonna do is doesn't matter what number you put on here, just put any number on and count six inches in this direction and six inches in that direction. One, two, three, four, five, six. That would be 22. One, two, three, four, five, six, that'll be 10. And I'm gonna put those two lines in. Do this so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. And then I'm going to measure six inches out in this direction and also in that direction. So it doesn't matter, just put any whole number on there. Count one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Using the T-square, put your lines in.
and then there we go. So that's ready to start to put the design in. Next thing we want to do, if this is the design that you, or this is the design that I made before, next thing you want to do is ask yourself, um, I turn this vertically because a lot of them are going to read vertically. You kind of want to ask yourself, do you want this to read in this direction or do you want it to read in this direction? So that being said, um, now if I have it centered like this, and this is how, how, how I drew it. This shape here would somewhat create this somewhat of a figure eight in the middle. Um, it would have this kind of centralized middle portion. If I turned it this way, same kind of thing, but on, on, on a diagonal, I could turn it out and then this would be my middle and this would be on the exterior. I don't know if I like this being cropped off on all four corners, so I think I prefer it in the middle. It could also go this way where it doesn't that's kind of interesting too. Hmm. I don't know. I can't decide if I want to go this way or if I want to have it up there. Because if that's the case, it flips, it flips, it flips. Um, that's kind of cool. I think I'm going to go with my original intent. All right. Um, so if I want to transfer this onto here, I mean, you could do tracing paper. I just don't think it's going to transfer cleanly. So I recommend you just to get a piece of scrap paper. Get a piece of scrap paper. And say I want to start to transfer this design onto here. Um, break it down into the original lines, right? So into the original shapes, uh, when he broke it down in five different uh, shapes. So what, what I want to do is measure from the bottom to this point here. Instead of measuring with a ruler and trying to get down to like the, the 16th of an inch, it can get kind of tricky that way. Let me take this off because I don't need these. Um, what you can do is you just get a piece of paper put it to that point and then mark the other side right here. Get that piece of paper, uh, put it right on your drawing and then mark it there. And that's a fast way of measuring. Now I can go up to the other side too, up here. And basically you're just gonna do this for each quadrant. So here's the bottom. And then there's the top. So then I just go, here's the bottom. There's the top. And I didn't do any measuring. I'm just marking off distances. That's it. And then I can connect them right here. And it's going to go on that side as well. So you can just take this same measurement as you had before. It goes right here. and then connect it to this side. Okay, what I recommend doing, and you can also do the same down there. What I recommend doing is just kind of finishing one side, figuring everything out your system, and then fill the rest in, but might as well finish this one part right here. So you can kind of see those three dots I just put in and I'm going to connect them. 
And the reason I'm showing you this right here, I'm gonna make another video on how to finish this part. Um, is it's mirrored. This is mirrored that way, this is mirrored this way, this is mirrored that way. So, um, so far part of this design is in. The other part, I'll put this in now, so I don't confuse myself with those points. I'm gonna measure this design here, which goes like this, and I'm gonna measure the distance between here and here, and mark it. I'm gonna put a big line there so I remember where it is. So I'm gonna put it right here. Mark it. Same thing on this side, just put the corner over there and then you can mark this side. Finish that mark over here. And here. And then I believe that line I'm starting to put in because I want to put this line in right here and I also want to put this line in here. So there's a little part here and a part here that I have to measure. So again, I'm using the edge of the paper and I'm just marking the the side there and I might as well I'm just gonna cross this one out just so I know I'm not gonna use it and then or we'll get a new sheet of paper so you don't confuse yourself so here's the short and here's the long and I will put these points in Now it's just like so. Put it on this side. This actually works out pretty easy because it's set up that way. Huh. I don't even have to do anything. I already have these these marks there. A lot of times you might think, oh, it's gonna be faster if I trace and then I do a graphite transfer and I do this and I do that. In, in the end, it's probably slower. So, and this is more accurate. You're gonna get a accurate reading. So basically, um, so far I've done this line, I've done this shape, this is already there and that's already there. That's, that's basically it. So that's kind of what the design's gonna look like somewhat. Um, and then the rest of it, I can just put these, these, these lines in. Tricky part is how do you know where this point is? Um, so what you can do is you can draw a line straight out. Um, here, just a line straight out, just so you understand it. And then you can draw a line straight out here. Notice I'm using my graph ruler. I'm just line it, it, lining it up um, with the line that exists there. And it's basically, if you ever did latitude, longitude lines, you're trying to find where this where this point is, where this point e exists. So using this paper again, I'm gonna mark both of those points here and here. I'm gonna put it here and here. Is this, oh, you guys can't even see this. And I'm going to put it here and here. Uh, and then the distance from here to here, which is going to be the edge of the paper to here. So what I'm going to do is I'll just do this. Right here. 
that dot is basically the same location as that dot because it's the same distance here and the same distance here. So it's kind of finding the longitude line, the latitude line. So once I have that, then I think the next step I did, if I did remember how I did this um, in my other video. Three, three things takes. Um, if you look here, I, I measured, actually I drew this line in and I'm gonna erase that line out, but I drew this line in and I did every half inch. So that line, actually it's really important how far that line goes below, so I'm gonna have to um, measure that as well. Get another piece of paper here. Use the edge there. Put this line here. mark it, get my T-square. I'm gonna run it across because it's gonna be the same for the other side as well. I think I'm gonna go all the way across because I might go past the point of intersection of the edge of the paper. And then I take that. Oh my God. Just like you see here, I take that and I start to put my half inch um, shapes in. And I think you can see here, I started a little bit from the edge of the paper, but that doesn't equate that. So do you see how far I started this from the edge there? I think I need to measure that. Again, with my little trick here. It's just a really small measurement. And then I can line up my half inch with, with that guy. So I just line up any half inch mark. And I'm just gonna put half inch marks all the way across. Now, don't go all the way across in this direction. Um, only, go, well, actually, yes, go all the way across in this direction. Um, but you're gonna, to figure this one out, you're gonna to have to erase those marks and put new marks in coming from this direction. Don't use these, because it's not gonna be equal. Um, and I think I had to go all the way out pretty far and to go all the way out to here in order to, to um, make this work. So you have to go all the way out as far as you can. And this one too, this has to go all the way out pretty far. It might even go on the board itself here. And then you start to connect that line with this point here. We'll call it a vanishing point, And it goes all the way to this line. I used to do that for each one. Okay. So you finish this here. Do not um, uh, figure the same exact approach here. You're going to have to erase these lines here and you have to erase there and then put new lines in and then chart the other side. Okay?